Uh, that concludes the news. So look, we went a little bit long, 24 minutes, tried to cram in a lot of things, but this is an interesting week. And uh, I can tell you what I'm doing. I'm not telling you that's what you should do, but I'm just sitting around and waiting. Sometimes it's easy to buy dips. It's easy to dollar cost average. It's easy, it's a lot easier to sell, but the hardest thing is really just to stay right in the middle and don't do anything until the market tells you what to do. And that's just what I'm gonna do. Anyhow, let me know what you think about that. And that's it for today. So look, if you gotta take off, thanks for sticking with me, I appreciate it. If you wanna stop by for the Q&A, we're gonna go over that right now. So I'll answer all your burning questions to the best of my abilities. Other than that, hit the like on your way out. You don't have to subscribe, but it would help if you wanna get notified of the times, but I do this every single day. So that's it, see you later, Q&A, here we go. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Darth Mike, are we going to define recession today? <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't do it. That was uh, actually, you know, if you, I just thought about that. Janet Yellen really never gave us an, a clear guideline as to what a recession would be considered. I guess she's been talking to Gary too much. Well, I mean, well, she used to hold that, that seat of the SEC, so she's really good at that. Uh, poor Janet. History will only remember her distorted and disingenuous portrayal of the economy. She lied to the people for the regime, like somebody was in bureaucracy. I don't know. The older I get, the more I'm just thinking that sometimes people just get things wrong. And uh, sometimes people say, well, it's nefarious purposes. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? SDC says the numbers are bad. Just trying to soften the blow. The numbers are bad. I, I'm pretty sure we're going to have two two quarters of GDP decline and what's gonna be called a recession. The question is who's gonna call it a recession? And now we're gonna have a dichotomy of people who in the, in the media and people like me would say, we're in recession. And we're gonna have the White House and the talking heads be like, it's not a recession, even though it's, that's what we used to call it all the time. Sure, whatever. So we'll see. Fed rates, recession, I will definitely start DC this week. Crypto, sounds like a plan, go ahead. That's your plan, sounds good. Take profits, I'm not your dad. Nice, said it for me. Tom, good morning. Hey, Rob, you'll be glad to hear FTX give my money back to me just in time for the dip. I didn't know they were holding money. It's interesting. Uh, must have missed that. Let's see. Will ETH miners move to ETH Classic once proof of work is over? I'm not for sure. I don't think that's, that'd be an interesting topic. You know what would be great is to get some miners in here uh, to talk about that. I'm not a miner, so can't really tell you. Gary Reed. Uh, hey, NS Miles, what is a Satoshi equivalent to? Well, pennies, really. Uh, let's see. Let's see, Satoshis. Yeah. Satoshi to dollars. So Satoshi is just the, uh, let's see, there it is. One sat equals, here it is. One Satoshi equals a fraction of a penny, 0. 0.0002 right now. But hey, if it becomes the world reserve currency like some people think it is, it'll be worth a lot of money. Do I think that's gonna happen? No, but uh, good luck. But hey, and what Michael is talking about, there's a link in the description for two, two apps that are free. One is Sweatcoin, which you can download and earn sweat. The other one is S Miles or Smiles, where you can uh, earn uh, Satoshi's just for walking and it's free. You don't have to buy an NFT like step in or you don't have to buy any cryptocurrency. It's free. So I just use both of those on my phone and I just earn both. So yeah. Uh, Bitcoin going below 20K, your thoughts? I think it, I think the way it does that is if the earnings report come out and just, they're just awful and just awful, awful. And the, the thing is that people, like in 20, 2017, 2018, 2019, no one was talking about NASDAQ and the, and the S&P 500 and the traditional markets and how it related to crypto because it was really not that well correlated. But now it really is because those institutions are overlapping and, and buying in. And of course, when they want uh, liquidity and they want to sell, what's the best place to do that? Well, there's only one place that's open 24-7, 365, and that's crypto. So if the earnings report came out, and uh, let's be honest, uh, Apple, I mean, the top five companies are really holding up uh, the S&P 500. Uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, 
uh, well, what was what was Facebook or Meta? So if those start to take a big tumble, that's a big tumble. That's a big loss for a lot of people around traditional finance. So I could see Bitcoin going below 20K. Sure, why not? Didn't wasn't it just at 17K like about uh, three weeks ago? So it's not out, it's not outside the realm of possibility. And I got to tell you, for people like me who have just been patient, that's a godsend. Yeah. Gray hair is a distinguished look. I agree. That's why I don't use any of this stuff. <laughs> All gray hairs need to go for good. Yeah. Let's see. Rate hikes, stop borrowing, slow spending, lower prices. Exactly right. And the first, the first industry to get hit the hardest is uh, real estate. I mean, look, like we talked about. I mean, we were just had like 2.3, 2.25, 2.3% uh, mortgage rates not too long ago. Now we're at five. We're almost at six. We were almost at 6%. Now we're down around 5.5, 5.6. Correct me in the comments. And that's huge. I mean, if you're looking at a house for $400,000 at uh, 3.5% APR, that's not bad. You can afford that monthly. But then when it goes up to 5.5, you're like, whoa, I almost just doubled my monthly payment and I didn't get paid double at my job. I can't afford that. And then that stops. And then that house sits in the market a little bit longer for the next person to come over and say, maybe they can, maybe they can't. And then as time goes on, these builders who have built these pretty nice big houses, they got to start taking cuts, haircuts on their products. So people can actually buy them up. They don't sit too, too long on there. The big difference though, I will say this, the big difference between now and 2008 and 2009 is that first of all, they actually looked at people's income. When we bought this house, this was in 2005, 2005. We walked in the bank. Hello, sir. What do you do? Uh, I work in healthcare. Well, how much do you make? Told him how much I make. Sounds good. Let's run your credit report. And that was it. They didn't verify squat. And I was like, do you have to verify anything? No, no. We just, we just look at it. I'm like, wow, that can't be sustainable. And sure enough, it wasn't. So these days, people actually verify the income. They took a look at uh, debt to income ratios and they say, you can afford this or not. And of course, back then you had these arms, adjustable rate mortgages. So one at, you know, for the first year, you could get it at a very low percentage rate. And then every year it would climb back up. And then of course, unfortunately, when you tried to refinance, you couldn't refinance because the rates were going to the roof. And then people lost a lot of their houses. And of course, then uh, uh, unemployment went up. So there's a, there's a difference between what happened in 2007, eight and nine. I mean, I can see there's gonna be problems, but there's a little bit of a different problem now. That's just how I see it. Damn it, that was a long explanation for one question. Kabul Khan, hello. Tesla, hello. Dave Jensen, late again, that's okay. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, Kabul says it right, Dan's not your dad. This is not financial advice, do your research. As best you can. And you know what? Some people were, they were, they said, you know, how, Rob, how can I do my own research when a couple of these lending platforms just lie to my face? That's just it. It lied right to your face. Sorry. They lied to me. They lied to you. They lied to everybody. And that's why, like, it's so important to never, like, investments used to be, like, if you invested in gold or S&P 500, you could just set it and forget it and walk away. Crypto is so different. You have to, like, be on top of it all the time because we're so early. And that's what happened. So if you haven't subscribed to me, you might want to think about it. Just saying. Thanks, man. Trader Joe's. What are they changing the definition to? I don't know what they're changing the definition to, Trader GI Joe. I have no idea. What was it before? It was two quarters of economic slowdown in the GDP. That's all pretty much what it was. Actually, let me just I'll show you the definition. Investopedia. Uh, 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 huh. So let, I just typed in recession definition. This is from Investopedia. And it says, this is not what the White House says. A recession is a macroeconomic term that refers to a significant decline in global, in general economic activity in a designated region, i.e. United States. It's been typically recognized as two consecutive quarters of economic decline as reflected by GDP in conjunction with monthly indicators such as rise in employment. That's, that is true. And of course, if we take a look at it, 
GDP was down in Q1. Now we're in Q2. Thursday, the numbers come out. So we'll see. But it is something to think about. Because I'm pretty sure unemployment rates are still 3.6% and they're only inching up. So it is what it is. Orpa. Isaac says I'm buying a house in this tip. Great. If it was me and my wife talked about this last night and we said that we're not buying any properties for 12 or 18 months because I think there's a more of a slide coming for houses. I'm not sure about everything else, but I think uh, the Fed will still continue to raise the rates. As they continue to raise the rates, that's going to price out a lot of people for uh, to get mortgages unless they are all cash. And then when that happens, prices usually drop because the builder's like, man, we got we to gotta move this inventory. It's not good to sit here too much. Uh, Crux of Crypto says, I'm thinking 17K, sure, which is resistant from the recent drop. 15K is the bottom of the local bear flag. Measure movement 13K, which is 84% down from last bull runs high. I don't see how it can go lower. Never know. I remember there's a lot of people that said that you would, this is the last opportunity to get Bitcoin below 40K. And then it dropped below that. They said, this is the last opportunity to get below 30K and 20K. And here we are again. So who knows? I don't know. I've got, I've got two scenarios for, in, uh, for me in my head. One, it's pretty much stagnant and just kind of goes flat for a while because I still believe in those four-year cycles, which means I got two and a half years of just dollar cost averaging, just like what I did in 2018, 2019, and 2020. I'm cool with that. Uh, or the other option is everything really goes lower and I just sit around and wait. And then I just wait for a specific time when I think, okay, the Fed's pivoting. There's some economic recovery, and I start a dollar cost average, and I have a little bit less time, but I get it way cheaper. That's cool too. And the third option is, which I don't think it's going to happen. Everything just starts taking off the moon. I don't think it's, I could, but who knows? I don't think so. <laughs> oh, says thirty-year mortgages are scams. You need to get fifteen years less. Well, that's true. If you look at the uh, amortization table, you can tell just how much you are you are paying uh, over those thirty years. It's a lot of. Uh, let's see. Rob, will you add me on Sweatcoin? Just added you this morning. I appreciate you. Free. Sure. You know, I got to figure out a way. I've talked to those people too to see if I can put it in. Also, well, first of all, if you're a Sweatcoin user and I haven't followed you, put your username in the live chat and I will follow you uh, moving forward. I can't follow everybody uh, because, you know, we get like 50 to 100 signups a day and uh, I have to do it manually, which sucks but just uh, let me know. Again, there's a link in the description. Uh, so, which looks like this. Here's all the links. Looks like this. And there's two. One is the, that S Miles app, which gives you Satoshis for walking and it's free. And then one is Sweatcoin app, which gives you uh, sweat coins, which is also free. You don't have to get an NFT or anything like that. And there's the link. And then I also have it here on the, there's a, well, let me show you. Does everybody know? I mean, most people know. There's the website, Dan Teaches Crypto. Uh, uh. And like I was talking about, you can find everything you really, I mean, the basic stuff, right? Like how to avoid scams, what's a crypto wallet, all the good stuff. But I just put in, That'll work. Sweatcoin and how it works over there. So have fun with that one. All right. So yeah. So Elliot, just put in your username and I'll follow you. Boo. Any thoughts on Hedera HBAR? No, I think it's, uh, from what I've looked at, it's a pretty, pretty advanced crypto. The big question is, uh, will it get adopted and how fast is it going and how many transactions is it doing? That's the big thing. But uh, looks like a good project. Don't really know uh, everything about it. What was the Apple news? So the Apple news was just this. The earnings report comes out. Earnings reports come out. Mostly it's tomorrow. You got Microsoft, Google, Visa. Uh, and that's on Tuesday. On Wednesday, you got Facebook, Qualcomm, and T-Mobile. And on Thursday, you got Apple, Amazon, MasterCard, so on and so forth. So that's the big news. And if they miss their earnings report, just expect for a big decline. And remember, there's been a lot of layoffs in those big companies. So... Not all of them, but it's happened. Mm. 
That's right. Yeah, and Hypertext has a, has a mix a great point. LMAO or not listen to YouTubers. Don't listen to people like me. I am not a financial advisor. You gotta, even the things that I say, you gotta verify that because I could be lying right to your face. Could. I could not even be here. And this might actually be a real pool. So just be aware of that. <laughs> Capo Khan says, Dan DeGen is the better channel. It's for the, I have a second channel. It's for like the risky plays. That's if you just want to lose all your money. It's super risky. <laughs> if only there were rules that to trust no one. Trust nobody. I don't care if your mom texts you and says, hey, what's your password for Coinbase? She's, uh, she's a scammer. Yeah, I need to work on that. Yeah, that'd be good. All right, so let's see. Really? CZ filed a defamation against Bloomberg. Was that old or new? I don't own anything. Me and my wife own things in El Paso. Remember, what's, what's yours is mine and what's ours is mine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Rob, you bought Avalanche last summer for a cheap price to the same as June. Yeah. You know what else is, also is crazy is that in 2017, I remember buying Bitcoin at 17500 And guess what? In 2022, it was the same price. Something to think about. If you think it's a get-rich-quick scheme, <laughs> I always laugh at that one. It's not. Tell us a story about your time at Fort St. Houston. Well, it's great. That's where all the medics go to train. All the medics and the nurses and the uh, military and uh, are for uh, medical services. Usually for, unless they changed it. And I was there for a couple of years. It was a long time ago. You try Pi Network? No. Hmm. What happened to CJ and Alex? I'm not sure. I could be. Uh, oh, look at that. Tiffany says, uh, thanks, Rob. I'm out listening to you and using Sweatcoin and SMLs right now. If you talk about it, I'm telling you. Uh, I don't know why people don't, don't use it. I think a lot of people do. Okay, great. Falling in Sweatcoin. Between 17K and 17K. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'm still going to Metacoin. Ooh, that's a good point. Uh, where'd this go? Gary, Gary says, I don't think Apple's dipping this week with their new sales of the M2 MacBooks. Interesting. Well, I hope you're right, Gary. That'd be awesome. Ah, uh, Gary read back, backing tracks is actually Gary Gensler. I knew it. All right, buddy. So that is it for today. Look, um, a lot of things are going on. I'm going to interview... The gentleman from uh, Satoshi Island, I just, I looked at that project. I'm like, it's actually like a friend of a friend. It looks cool. It does. But I'm like, that's a lot of infrastructure to do. How are you going to do that in that short amount of time? So I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyhow, everybody, if you do me a favor, just one thing, just hit the like button. You don't have to subscribe. You know where I'm at every day. I'm here every day. But uh, the like button is like the big thing for the algorithm, I guess, for uh, YouTube these days. It always fluctuates. So please do that. That would help out tremendously. And that's it. So look, thanks everybody for stopping by on a Monday. Let's see how this week pans out. Just to be aware there's, there's multiple options for everybody out there. And you don't have to just, uh, you know, buy dips and diamond hands and all that nonsense. Just take it as it comes. That's it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, which is tomorrow. Adios.